Let's see I just got done working out. I had the meeting. I had the guys here. We're trying to sign players. I don't have time to get dressed. <laughs> I'll shower tomorrow. I promise. How was your summer? Summer was long and boring and over. Time for fun and games, very honestly. How did you feel about Tiago's performance against Team USA in the World Championships? He did well. He was a very solid player. You know, he's a, he's a pro. He's ready to go, like Manu was when he came over. Uh, he's been through a lot. He's played and won championships over there and played against wonderful players and been in tough situations. So uh, he, he'll come in running, so to speak, and not have a problem. You know, he'll have to adjust to a couple of different rules and to the officials. They play a lot more physical game in Europe than we do here, so there'll be some adjustment. But all in all, uh, he'll be ready to go. Are the expectations, well, you say Manu, and people probably hear that and think, well, he's going to be another Ginobili. I mean, are the ex expectations that high from, from your point of view? Well, I don't know. I don't know what you guys say on TV and, <laughs> you know, what they write in the papers. Expectations always come from the media, really. Uh, you never hear coaches say, this guy is going to do this and he's going to do this. We always low-key things for the most part, but uh, he's not Manu Ginobili. There's only one of those. There's only one, you know, David Robinson or Kobe Bryant or uh, Tim Duncan. Uh, everybody's different. Uh, he's, he's a really good, solid player who's going to have a great NBA career, uh, but he's not going to lead us in scoring or anything like that. He's going to rebound and defend and run the floor and... Uh, make good decisions, uh, be great in the community, uh, fit in really well. So uh, he's going to be really good for us, uh, but he's not going to be our go-to guy and that sort of thing. Uh, At this point of the year, though, do you kind of get excited to see how things are going to fit together? Well, you know, that's one of the most interesting parts about coaching, you know, being in a position to see how things might fit, see how they do fit. Uh, see what players develop mentally uh, as much as physically to fill certain roles, uh, who has the capability and the desire to do A, B, or C. And, you know, Bruce Bowen is always our greatest example of that. You know, uh, Bruce couldn't dribble. Bruce had no moves. All you guys have more moves than Bruce <laughs> had. Uh, Bruce could shoot uh, from certain places on the court, and we forbade him from even walking on certain areas of the court, but he could defend you. And he could anger you, and he could help teams win, uh, which he did with us. So uh, we're looking for players all the time that can have that kind of focus and that kind of intelligence to know what their strengths and weaknesses are. All players can't do that the way Bruce did, the way Avery did. So uh, we'll see how that happens with our new guys that you know, you'll see. Some new guys we don't even know yet because camp hasn't occurred, and you know, I'm sure we'll see some surprises. but. That's the kind of thing we're looking for. George said that he'd been shooting corner threes like 10,000 for the entire summer. Is that something, one of Bruce's aspects of his game, that you're looking for George to maybe pick up and, and bear that cross? Well, you know, you all have seen enough games. A three-point shot is important for everybody, and it's important in winning championships just like defense is, and George Hill has gotten better at it every year. Um, actually, uh, you know, I hope... George misspoke. I hope he's been taking those threes in other areas on the court because he, he learned the corner last year. You know, he's, he was great at it. So uh, we want him to, you know, extend that and be able to do it on other parts of the court. The last is filled with young guys. Uh, James Anderson, obviously, he's had some, some injury issues here. Has he, gotten a, has he gotten a chance to get on the court yet? Can you kind of update us on that? You know, as, as luck would have it, today was his first day uh, on the court playing five on five. He's he missed a lot of time. He has had a uh, hamstring injury and missed the summer league and hasn't done anything really all summer except rehab. And today was the first day he was able to get in on some drills and uh, he played five on five in the pickup games uh, briefly. And we'll, you know, we'll see uh, what happens from there. But he's a, he's a willing participant, that's for sure. He's a hard worker. But as far as, you know, exactly what his role will be or uh, how he's going to develop or how important he's going to be, uh, we really have no idea right now. What did you see out of him that, that made him an attractive uh, pick for you guys? Well, RC and, and Dennis and, and Dell, you know, did a great job as usual of, of uh, you know, getting the intelligence straight and getting the uh, 
information uh, that we need on all these guys. And frankly, he wasn't on our list. We thought he would be gone already. Uh, we had a list of about three or four that we were hoping would be there. It looked like none of them were going to be there, and uh, we weren't happy about that. We were talking about, you know, do we trade it? Do we do this? Do we do that with that pick? And lo and behold, he was still available because of the intelligence that they had gathered. We were thrilled uh, to be able to draft him. Uh, he did a great job at Oklahoma State. He's a real gamer, and uh, in college he was very important at the offensive end of the court. Uh, of course, we'll be trying to uh, add defense to his focus. And I think the degree to which he develops defensively will determine uh, how much time he'll have on the court. I know Richard has been <coughs> here often over the offseason working out. Um, have you been kind of pleased with the, the dedication he's shown this offseason? Uh, you know, Richard it will be the first one to tell you that uh, he wasn't happy you know, with his overall performance last year. And it was new for him. It was a absolutely different system. Uh, expectations were very high. Uh, and, you know, he really wasn't used to the discipline and, and uh, the approach that, that we took. And to his credit this summer, he's been fantastic. I mean, I've known him for a long time. He's a highly intelligent young man with a great personality and, and a lot of talent. And I think that uh, he's done a wonderful job this summer of dedicating himself to getting back to where he was when he came out of school and uh, making defense a priority uh, where he can uh, guard people well, uh, making good decisions, uh, being a lot more solid night after night after night. And there are very few pros that have played as long as he has and scored as much as he has that would do what he did this summer. And he went back to the fundamentals and did drills with you know myself and uh, several of our coaches in various venues across the country. I mean, basic, basic things uh, to get his game back uh, to where he can help us uh, really do uh, you know a wonderful job as a team. So uh, his dedication and development.